today we're gonna go over how I made guys so today we're gonna go over how I made this super sick Spotify code keychain uh, basically I would go around have they be like hey guys scan my code and I would just end up brick rolling them this is kind of for fun you can also make it sentimental give it to someone you like you know a song you have that you had jam sessions in the car too so we'll go over that and it's honestly not that hard it takes about 10 minutes so to start off what we're gonna do is we're gonna look up the song I already chose one We're gonna go to share, um, embed track, show code. We're gonna go, oh no, just gonna copy this. We're gonna go Spotify code. This is your code. And then this is what you want right here. So if you hold Windows Shift S, you're gonna get the snippet tool. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag it over this right here. Right click, oh, you can just, not right click, just click on it. We're gonna go save. It's gonna ask you where you wanna save it. These are two I've already done. We trap, Let's save. So now that we've got that done, we can go over and head over to SolidWorks. Okay, so now that you have SolidWorks loaded in, you're gonna select new part, front plane sketch. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, tools, sketch tools, and we're gonna go sketch picture. We're gonna go to the thing we just got, we trap. And this is kind of an important part. This is what will set the size of your your keychain. So we're gonna make the height, or sorry, the length of it. We're gonna make it about 63 millimeters. Log aspect ratio is a pretty important or else you're gonna warp your picture. And you're gonna click yes. And now you've got kind of your Spotify. Sketch. So we're gonna sketch on our front plane. Now that we're in our sketch, we're going to zoom in on the Spotify code keychain. Select the origin and here. And now you've got the outline of your Spotify code. So once we're in here, we can go sketch fillet, choose your corners, three, four. Mine sit at five millimeters. I'm pretty happy with that. So we're gonna click yes, oh shoot. And now we're gonna go to features, extrude boss base. Uh, we're probably gonna make this about five millimeters thick. Where's Google? Sure, pretty good. Okay, so now we kind of have the basics of what we want. So we're gonna Hide this front plane sketch. So here's what we're gonna do. Basically, gonna copy this Spotify code, drag it to the middle point here. Zoom in on this is pretty important part. Now you're gonna want to select for the Spotify emblem three point arc. You're gonna do this corner opposite corner and then in the middle and then you can drag it out bam we're gonna do that again one two in the middle one two in the middle and now we have our spotify code for all these bars what we can do is straight slot one two here and this part, it's pretty repetitive, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this. If you guys are new to SolidWorks, so you can scroll with your middle key or your middle roller on your mouse in order to go different places, zoom in, zoom out. And if you have a selection you say, like per se, you don't like, you can hit the escape key and it will deselect. Okay, cool. Now that all of that is done, we're gonna click OK. We're gonna make this visible again. And we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go convert entities and we're gonna wanna select this and, oh shoot, no. This entire, ah, to start over. Sweet, yes. 
and now we have a solid surface essentially so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to features extrude cut and we're gonna select all of the oh. So we're just gonna extrude it through the entire thing because these are gonna be shown on both sides. And I click OK. Doesn't like it for some reason. Oh, that's why. Click this arrow, switch directions. There we go, that's what we want. So after you guys click the extrude button, make sure that this gray arrow is pointing through your block and that the um, width is set to the width of your object. I'm gonna click OK. And now we can see that everything's good. So with this, we can hide this now because that's what our Spotify picture was. We don't have to. So to copy the circle, we're gonna go like this. Edit sketch, zoom in copy copy that circle we are going to exit this sketch sketch again click the front plane zoom in on this and we're going to paste this circle move it to the center point of the middle arc boom and now we can do extrude cut again. I'm gonna do mine about two millimeters thick. Two. And when we rotate it, see how it's going to be about almost halfway through. Click, okay. Now we're gonna go on the back side of this. And we're gonna sketch again. And we're gonna click this back face. And we're gonna paste that same circle. Drag it over. So the weird thing I noticed about this is the Spotify symbol isn't actually completely straight because on the other side, see how the Spotify bars are slightly slanted? I don't want this. Now we can move this again, kind of where we want it. I'd say that makes my brain happy, like right there. Yeah. Click OK. Features, extrude cut. We'll make that one about two millimeters again. It's exactly what we want. Click OK. And right here, it kind of looks funky because the Spotify is in the middle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hide this. There we go. And this is our final product of the Spotify code. Now to make this a keychain, it's really quite simple. You're gonna go sketch, click the front face, and you're gonna put basically wherever there's space. You can put it in the corner on the side here. If you do it right here, if you have like a resin printer or something, it's gonna be completely fine when you make your 3D print. But just for this one, we're gonna stick it in the corner for if you guys have, I don't know, filament printers instead of resin printers and extrude. We're just gonna do this to the full width, which we set as five millimeters. Make sure the arrow is pointing all the way through. We have a clear cut hole and yes. So from here, you're just going to save as. You're gonna make sure this is an SDL file and we're gonna go we trap music because that's the song we have you can click yes on this and then you can open up whatever slicer you use for your printer i use photon workshop because i have an anycubic printer open we trap now something i noticed with these is if you orientate them like that it's gonna print the best. If you lay it flat, the Spotify holes are gonna have a hard time printing cleanly. This takes a little bit more time because you have thicker layers, but 
from what I found, this makes the cleanest cut. So you can slice it, save it as whatever you have it, and then print it out. And that is the final product. Thanks for watching, guys. Like if you want something else.